This astronaut has crash-landed on a mysterious planet, but unbeknownst to him, it is Earth 65 million years before modern civilization. Long before humankind emerged as a species on Earth, other civilizations across the universe were already exploring the cosmos. On a planet named Somaris, a young girl named Naveen is practicing a whistleblowing technique, while her parents Mills and Alia watch her. Mills discusses with his wife that he is going to be piloting a spacecraft that will be conducting a two-year-long deep space exploration mission. His usual missions are never this long, but he has accepted this one because it pays more, and he needs the money to treat Naveen, who is sick. Mills then proceeds toward Naveen, teaches her the proper technique for the whistle, and discusses his two-year-long mission with her. She understands why he has to go. Sometime later, Mills is piloting the spacecraft, which has an entire crew in cryogenic sleep. The spacecraft encounters an unexpected asteroid field, and several large asteroids start colliding with the ship, tearing it apart. Mills rushes to the cockpit and sends a distress signal back home. He then steers the ship toward the nearest planet for an emergency landing. During the landing, the ship splits into two parts. The last thing Mills thinks of before getting knocked out due to the crash is his daughter. Sometime later, Mills awakens and realizes that he has a piece of metal lodged in his lower abdomen. He removes it and proceeds to cauterize the wound while wincing in pain. Next, Mills puts on his spacesuit and assesses the damage to the ship. He learns that the cryo chamber has been compromised and the emergency escape pods are attached to the other half of the ship, which split and landed elsewhere. He grabs a laser gun and steps outside. Mills finds himself in a body of water, and unbeknownst to him, a creature is eerily and quietly swimming around him. He finds the corpses of all the other crew members who died during the crash, and realizes that he is the only one who managed to survive. Devastated and hopeless, Mills sends another message home, in which he tells them to not send help, because he has no chance of surviving here. He steps outside and points the laser gun at his head, ready to take his own life, but stops himself at the last minute after having flashbacks of his memories of Naveen. Mills comes back inside and watches video messages that Naveen sent to him during this voyage, just to hear her voice again. Just then, the computer on board detects that one of the cryogenic pods survived, and a crew member is alive. Mills quickly rushes to the location and finds a young girl named Koa. He takes her out of the pod and carries her back to the ship. On the way back, Mills notices a giant paw print, which reveals that this planet is Earth, 65 million years ago, when dinosaurs were the dominant species of the planet. Mills arrives back at the ship and takes care of Koa, determined to get her back home safely. The next morning, Mills tries to locate the other half of the ship that has the escape pods, but has no luck. He steps outside to assess the region and finds the bones of massive creatures, indicating that the predators on this planet are huge and dangerous. Mills then gets sprayed by a hot geyser out of nowhere and only survives because of his sturdy spacesuit, which keeps him from getting burned. Suddenly, he notices an object reflecting sunlight in the distance, and a quick scan reveals that it is the other half of the ship, which is on top of a mountain. While he looks at the path that he will be taking to get to the other half of the ship, Mills gets attacked by a small dinosaur out of nowhere. He struggles with the creature a bit, before crushing its skull with repeated blows from the back of his gun. It works better when you pull the trigger, Mills. Next, Mills hears a commotion in the woods, and when he tries to find the source of it, he discovers that Koa has run out of the ship. Upon seeing Mills, Koa runs, and he runs after her. They both fall from a ledge and come across the dead body of a massive dinosaur. Just then, Mills notices trees falling behind them, and he realizes that a very much alive version of this creature is coming for them. He grabs Koa and brings her back to the ship. While he tends to Koa's wounds that she got from falling down the ledge, he tries to explain the entire situation to her. However, it is revealed that the two speak different languages and cannot communicate, because the translators on board broke in the crash. Mills spreads some powder on a table, and draws a mountain to explain to Koa that that is where they have to go to get back home. Koa draws her parents as she catches Mills saying the word family, which she understands. 
To keep her calm, Mills lies to Koa that her family will be at the mountain too, even though he knows that they were among the crew members who died during the crash. Next, Mills sends another message back home, explaining that he has found a survivor and that they need someone to come and rescue them. Meanwhile, Koa finds all the messages that Naveen sent to Mills during this voyage and watches them. At first, the messages are happy, with Naveen telling Mills that she loves and supports him. But after a while, Naveen starts getting progressively sick and gets angry with her father for not being there with her. Mills arrives and sees Koa watching the messages. He shuts them off and tells her that they are leaving. Mills grabs some supplies and the two begin their journey through the wilderness, being careful not to make too much noise and attract predators. During the long journey, Koa falls and struggles multiple times, and Mills helps her. The two start bonding with one another. One day, Koa notices something glowing in the sky, but she thinks nothing of it. Next, Koa starts getting bored and grabs some berries from a bush and throws them at Mills to mess with him. Mills puts the berries in a scanning device and shows Koa they are poisonous, and hence, not something to be played with. A huge bug lands on Mills's neck, and he kills it with his hand. As a result, his hand is covered in a sticky substance, which he has a tough time removing. Watching his failed attempts, Koa laughs, and Mills decides to teach her a lesson by threatening to touch her with the same hand. Their little game is interrupted by a tree falling in front of them. They hear some noises, and when they try to find the source, they discover a small dinosaur, stuck in a tar pit. Koa feels bad for the creature and rushes to rescue it, ignoring Mills' protest. Eventually, Mills gives up and helps her free the dinosaur. However, the dinosaur only takes a few steps of freedom before being attacked and devoured by other predators. Mills grabs Koa and hides her behind a tree to prevent the predators from seeing them and to spare Koa the sight of what's happening. But she still hears it. After the predators leave, Mills and Koa continue their journey. The two find a waterfall and decide to take a quick break to drink and fill their bottles. Mills is concerned about the wound on his lower abdomen, but when he sees Koa, she reminds him of Naveen, and he finds the motivation to keep going. Koa finds a flower and bothers Mills until he lets her put it in his hair. While they are walking, Mills' navigation devices loses the location of the other half of the ship, and he has to climb a very tall tree to recalibrate it. While he is up there, he suddenly notices a bug on his hand, and when he tries to shake it off, he accidentally breaks the branch he is standing on. He falls and dislocates his shoulder while the noise attracts some dinosaurs. Mills notices the dinosaurs approaching and desperately tries to pop his shoulder back in place. At the last minute, he asks Koa to press on his arm with her foot, and that gets the job done. He grabs his gun and starts shooting at the predators while telling Koa to run for it. Then, he takes out a few tiny bombs and throws them, killing half the dinosaurs while the rest continue to charge him. Meanwhile, Koa arrives at a beach where she hides from a few flying dinosaurs, but gets spotted by the same predators from before. The predators surround Koa, but just then, Mills arrives and shoots them. While he catches his breath, one remaining predator grabs Koa and drags her away. Mills chases them and scares the dinosaur away. A traumatized Koa huddles in the corner, too scared to continue the journey. Mills decides to give her some time. After a while, he blows a whistle to calm Koa down, just like he used to do for Naveen. It works, as Koa responds with her own method of blowing a whistle. The two continue their journey. At night, the two decide to sleep in a cave, where Mills sets up sensors to warn him of any danger nearby. He scans the skies with his navigator, and it reveals a meteor heading toward Earth. It appears to be a small one, so Mills doesn't worry. Next, Koa reveals that she has brought one of Navine's messages with her. At first, Mills is upset at this, but then he plays the message, as it has a calming effect on both of them. While he's trying to sleep, Mills has a flashback of the time that Alia sent him a message telling him that Naveen had died in the hospital. He sobs uncontrollably. During the night, the sensors start going off, indicating a threat nearby. Mills checks on Koa and notices that an insect has entered her mouth. He uses a special tool to kill it, and Koa throws up the remains. The sensors start blinking very fast, and just then, the two notice a huge T-Rex behind them. 
As the beast attempts to eat them, the two squeeze into a small opening in the back of the cave. They start looking for a different way out, while unbeknownst to them, a smaller dinosaur is following them. After a few minutes of squeezing through small spaces, they reach a dead end. Mills finds a small opening and tries to make it bigger, but to no avail. Koa is angry that he is giving up, and pushes him to try again while yelling the word, family. Mills tries to explain that he lied about her parents, but she doesn't understand him. Next, Mills gets an idea and uses one of the small bombs to make the opening big enough for Koa to go through. He hands Koa some more bombs just in case. Koa goes inside and confirms that there is an opening on the other end, but before Mills can join her, rocks from above collapse and block the way. Mills is devastated and screams in anger. He decides to try his luck from the front of the cave again, but on the way, he encounters the small dinosaur. After a very confusing fight in the dark, he manages to distract the dinosaur with a high-pitched noise from his device and shoots it. Meanwhile, outside, Koa finds a sharp bone and makes a weapon out of it by dipping it in the poisonous berries. Mills comes out of the cave and sees that the asteroid is much closer to Earth now. He scans it and learns that what he saw earlier was a small piece of it, and the actual asteroid is much bigger. Hence, this is the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. Mills realizes he needs to find Koa and get off this planet. A dinosaur chases Koa, and her screams inform Mills where she is. He rushes toward her but gets caught in some quicksand on the way. He calls for Koa, and upon hearing him, Koa finds her courage. She kills the dinosaur with the tiny bombs Mills gave her and arrives to rescue him from the pit using a tree branch. The two reunite with a tight hug, and Mills tells Koa about the asteroid. The two run the last few miles toward the mountain and finally arrive at the other half of the ship, with the escape pods in it. Mills finds out that a rescue ship from Somaris is on its way toward them. Meanwhile, Koa looks for her family but quickly realizes that they aren't there and that Mills lied. She gets very angry with him. As she cries, Mills shows her a picture of Naveen and reveals that she died while he was on the job. He couldn't save her. He says he can't let that happen again. He has to save Koa, or he won't be able to live with himself. Koa hugs him, and he says he's sorry for lying to her. Pieces of the large asteroid start falling on Earth, and the two quickly strap themselves into the escape pod to leave the planet. However, before Mills can launch, a small asteroid hits the pod and knocks it down the mountain. Koa tries to launch the pod, but the computer says that the pod is not in the right orientation to launch. Mills regains consciousness, and just then, two T-Rexes arrive on the scene. Mills notices that his gun has fallen outside and rushes to grab it, only to discover that it is malfunctioning. While he hides and fixes it, Koa creates a distraction using the video message from Naveen. Mills takes advantage of the distraction and kills one of the T-Rexes. The second T-Rex notices where the video is coming from and attacks the pod, but Mills manages to shoot it down as well. It is revealed that the T-Rex attack fixed the pod's launch orientation, and it is ready to go. However, before Mills can climb back inside, a third T-Rex arrives. Mills leads the T-Rex away in order to give Koa a chance. He leads the T-Rex right into a hot geyser, and the beast gets hit in the face with a blast of hot water. It doesn't do the damage that Mills hoped for, but just then, Koa arrives and stabs the dinosaur in the eye with the bone she prepared. This disorients the beast, and it walks on top of another geyser, getting sprayed with another blast, this time hitting its stomach and frying it. Koa and Mills return to the pod and launch off the ground. The autopilot steers them toward the point where they will be meeting with the rescue ship. Mills has a vision of himself reuniting with Naveen on the beach, while in reality, Koa holds his hand to comfort him. The End Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also, let us know what movie you would love us to recap for you.